Hey, welcome back to the Smart 3 to our Three. watch of Unda. If you saw this on YouTube, you saw a very good version of it. You see full uncut versions of this and other Malayan films. You can head over to Patreon or channel memberships. I'll put yep. the description up. And you can oh, check those out. And at the end of this part, me. we will talk about the movie and review it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Election officers complained over the other day about the battle. Pinna, low and two, my pile keeper on the door, poor Tivino. Hello, Hello, Hello,
മാമാരെ വീണ്ടും വരുന്നു സാറേ നാടകം ശരിക്ക് കാണാം എസ് പി സാഹബ് കാ ഓഫീസ് ജാറോ മേരെ ബേട്ട ബാരെ മെ പൂച്ചാത്ത് കരണേ ഭാഷ അറിയില്ല എന്റെ മണ്ണാണ് ഇവിടെ വിട്ട് പോരുത് മരിച്ചു കളയാൻ ജീവിക്കും അടുത്ത സ്ഥലത്ത് എത്തി തന്നെയാണ് സാധനങ്ങളൊക്കെ എത്തും ഉണ്ടല്ലോ What'd you think, Rick? Um, first half had me intrigued. Mm-hmm. First half had me guessing. Mm-hmm. First half had me interested. And then it just fell off a cliff. And I, the second half bored me dramatically. And there was nothing at stake. Um, it just, I, it lost me in the second half completely. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I... I don't know if it was full on second half. Uh it did drag for a little bit there in the second half I do agree. I don't quite understand why the bigness of the ending either. Like obviously I I I thought I picked up on basically the Maoists might not be either real or who they think like the tribal people. Mhm. Um and I think that was evident. is it might have been these political people just trying to make you think divisions. this exists right. and it really doesn't or at least it doesn't exist in the way they yeah. made you think it does whatever whatever it is uh i i think that was the intent correct me if i'm wrong if 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 it's not but then i don't understand the reason for the bigness of the fight in the end and outside of to just be massy mhm i didn't feel the like how that Honestly, I would have preferred it to stay small and almost go away with well, that came and went and it this is the the and you could have gotten the messaging I think done that way. I didn't I didn't understand the need for such a big massy ending. Like I don't I don't know what we garnered from that aspect of it, right? Yeah. I don't Like in some aspect I I I, mean, I love a good Massey Mamoudi uh, film we've seen quite a few of them this did, just didn't give off those vibes for the most part obviously especially in the first half and I it didn't lose me totally um maybe like three fourths away th- I definitely thought it, it dragged there and then but at the end I just I was like I don't feel like we needed a big fight scene. the entire time you were anticipating something like this you were like oh proverbial shoe's mm-hmm. going to drop but then you you almost came to the realization that Maybe it won't. There's no shoe. Right. It's kind of a fabricated um event happening by these maybe politicians mm-hmm. um or what whatever it is. Um and I, yeah, I just I the the ending especially confuses me. Um as to why why that was fully needed. Um outside of to show that they came together with eight bullets and can beat them but I was like I just didn't feel like that's the the was the vibe of the movie Mm-mm. before that right yeah um I did think um there was a lot of really nice stuff about the movie um especially uh first uh, maybe three fourths the way through um they I love the score I love I absolutely I think they's not only those the uh, I don't know if it was in a song right there wasn't a song mm mm Oh, yeah, so the entire background score of it was either tribal to western at times to um creepy 
which I liked all those different elements that made you kind of question what was going on. And then they kind of just made it kind of um, too obvious at the end. I like the whole buildup of almost like a Jaws of you don't see your enemy almost the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, but then to do a big, massive fight. I don't know. What do you think about the score, though? I thought it was fine. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was interesting and quirky at the beginning, and it did do exactly what you said. And then it just pretty much everything. I mean, thankfully, there wasn't anything in regard to, like, I wasn't, there wasn't bad acting. No, no, no. It was all um, nice Molly Alam acting. Continuity errors. Yeah. Just story, which is the most important element of it. Um, yeah. This is a, this is a. I was disappointed. Um, and then there was a whole bunch of, obviously they were, it was, it was evident that they were kind of taking their time almost with this and, and trying to build it out and get you to know these characters and their backstories. But then some of them, I was like, what was the, what was the point of knowing this stuff? Um, I, I mean, maybe it was just to, get you to know these characters a little more um obviously they were trying to show tension between people that come from a, a city field to their um, prejudices against uh tribal people and their land and i think that was a, a message that they were obviously trying to convey um i'm i'm just I'm, I'm lost to the exact message that they were trying to send with this not that I think a film needs to do one specific message. I think you can have no, but, a broad statement. But yeah. I think you almost kind of lost, especially with the end there, of what message you were trying to convey. I think it could have been a stronger emphasis on the, on a message if you didn't have that aspect to the film. Like, take out the fight completely, and it was almost like almost nothing happened, and we're going home now. Yeah, I mean, one of the worst things you can say about a film, any film, is when it's over you i just i did not care mm -hmm. you didn't get me to care about what was going on you didn't get me to care about any of the characters i didn't care they didn't have any bullets i mean i cared a little bit about the use of the water for the villagers but that was it there was no sense of empathy for anybody uh i just didn't care and there was some elements of like something either spooky or spiritually going on in elements that I feel like wasn't explained. Maybe it was just that it's spooky and like, what was this just a villager that was watching that to show that these people aren't bad? Like the, the villager that kept popping up with the, I think it was a, a hawk, I think, or something on his shoulder, right? He kept showing up and maybe he was just to show that the villagers are, this is their land. They're not doing any of this, I guess. But they didn't, there was like elements like that, that I was hoping it was going to be kind of like a, oh, that's a, th yeah, that's a my, thinker. And then it just, it never. My suspicion is that it's probably trying to convey a message of don't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. And that places that you think or people that you think are a certain way, once you get to know them, they're probably not what you think. Mm -hmm. But why, it, it didn't work. Yeah. Why did the, why did that kid trying to keep to grab the gun was he just mad obviously because the police were clearly taking their friends and family and i'm assuming murdering them and and stuff so maybe they thought they were bad like the other ones so maybe that maybe that's what that was um it's just it feels like there was a lot of elements i was like oh cool this is going to go in a cool direction and then it kind of uh stumbled over itself I, I guess, uh, especially in the uh, the third act there. Um, but, you know, maybe we missed something. You guys can let us know uh, what what you thought about the movie. I didn't hear, like, I know people, I've been requesting this, obviously, since we uh, have been going on a remote tour. Uh, this was uh, highly requested for us to watch. Um, and so, obviously, I think there's a lot of people that do enjoy this movie a lot. Um, and I, there's certain elements that I can see, um, but for the other elements that we have an issue with, especially like the, the the back half of this movie. Let us know your thoughts on that, especially um, of what you think was going on, what you think the messaging would be, why you think that was needed and all that kind of stuff. Cause I would, I would really be interested to know um, certain people's uh, thoughts 
on the second half, uh, especially the end of this movie, which I think is the biggest question mark to me of uh, a big, massy fight scene that I didn't feel needed at all uh, in this movie. Anyways, uh, you guys can let us know what you thought about this movie. Uh, what should be our next Malayalam movie, Mamuts or otherwise, in our watch-alongs. If you like to see this and other Malayalam films, we have a ton on Patreon. You can head over to there or channel memberships. I'll put the link in the description. Pin comes to you. Check those out. And um, on to the next watch-along! Yeah.